real warehouse considerations. Fair enough. All right. All right, so what happens in your data warehouse if you have too few indexes? Let's talk in general terms again. In your data warehouse, if you have too few indexes, well, first thing that happens is your as a beneficial effect. Number one, that your, your data will load quickly, much quicker, I should say, because uh, obviously everything's relative. Um, without indexing, you don't have to, without indexes, if you have too few indexes or, or, or none at all, course, obviously, the, the engine doesn't have to create these index and maintain them, that kind of thing. So the data will load much quicker. This is part of the reason that sometimes it's a very common thing to see that when a data warehouse is loaded, that the indexes are dropped and then recreated one after, after they're loaded, because it's heavy maintenance to maintain all those index in your, uh, when you load your, your, your data warehouse. So what else happens if you have too few indexes? Well, not only does the, well, the data does load quicker, but uh, what happens is that your response time, and that's the logical conclusion, is that your response time for your queries and for your scripts, your stored procedures, uh, it suffers sometimes. Not all the time, but sometimes it does. Um, obviously, the query engine doesn't have the available, the available information to be able to make the, the proper decisions. And uh, it, a lot of times it will indeed have to do scans and scan the entire table or, or multiple tables to do the joins. And if it has to do that, of course, your, your, your response time is going to suffer tremendously. All right, so what happens when we have too many indexes? Well, as, as in the opposite of too few, the data will load slower. Uh, too, many, too, too many indexes means that we have to maintain all those and, and add rows for every index, especially on a clustered index. And the data is going to load significantly slower. Um, what else happens? Well, our store. What happens in the difference of the size of the of the database tables when we have indexes and when we don't have indexes? Uh, I, as you can see here, I set up a, a little quick database with with only six tables in it. The tables are relatively small, as you can see here. The row counts. I have, a, I have a, this this table is exactly the same as far as data. These two these are these tables. These, um, as you can see here. Obviously, I've included indexes on three of them and not included indexes on the other, so you can see that the row counts match. Uh, the data space is only slightly bigger on those ones. It's, it's actually, believe it or not, the data space is <laughs> on this one is 8 KB larger with no indexes than it is with indexes. And this one, slightly larger as you would expect. But that's not where we're, we're going to see the, because this is not show, this is only showing the data space that's being used and not the space that's being used for the indexes. So let's go back to this table. And what I'm going to do here is, again, just as, as you can see, I'm going to set the statistics I have on so we can see exactly what's happening in the engine, what's hitting, how many times we have to go to disk, and how many times we have to go to, uh, to memory, thereby it's equivalent of the efficiency of, the, of, our, of our scripts. And obviously, we're doing something very simple here with a single order date key. But this scales, obviously, very, very similarly. Uh, so we're going to count. I'm going to count everything to count the rows where the order date key is 9, 10. I'm going to do it first from the table that has no indexes, and I'm going to do it with the one with indexes, and we're going to get the information here. Ignore this for now. So as we can see here, I'll get this out of the way here. All right, so we can see here that we return the same result. Obviously, as we would expect, the results shouldn't change. We're going to have 134 rows here. No matter what our indexing looks, it still came back with the same results. Now, the key part here is to take a look at our statistics. And here is the key part we're looking at right here and right here. Logical reads indicate the number of times that they had to, go, they had to hit memory and physical reads were disk. Now, because our tables are so small and my RAM on, my com on this machine, I have, I have 8 gigs of memory here on this machine. It didn't have to go to disk. Everything was able to be helped in, in memory. But if you expand this out to much, much, much larger databases, uh, data warehouse, you can understand that this, again, it, it scales. So it had 1,025 logical reads, reads in memory, when there were no indexes. Let me pull this down a little bit, for no indexes. Six, only had to do six when it was an appropriate index based on, on, the, on, on the order date key. Now that's a factor of here, where this little handy thing goes, comes in handy. That's 170 times faster. 
So you can see the difference simply by putting a simple cluster index or a simple index on the order date key. And we'll take a look at that in just a minute and see what kind of index we have on the order date key. But you can see simply by putting that thing 170 times less activity of reads, logical reads have to take place. I also have a similar, again, very similar example doing the same thing, but this time I have a range. And this, the, the results are actually very similar. Of course, the results come out exactly the same. And the logical reads are the same, 1,025. We have a little bit more in this one because we have a larger, we have a larger result set, but still we're talking about a, a we're talking about almost seven times less activity because of the index. 1,025 versus 147. Big difference. Okay, let's go back to our presentation. Okay, I'm sorry. There we go. Okay, so we see what happens when we have too many indexes. We have seen what happens when we have too few indexes. Um, one of the things we have to look at, obviously, one of the things we have to consider is the retrieval patterns. How uh, how we're going to be retrieving? How our users are going to be retrieving the data? Are they going to be? Is this warehouse? There's you know, there are many different types of data warehouses as there are creative DBAs out there. Uh, will we be retrieving these rows in a sequential manner, as in the uh, my reporting is going to say, give me everybody for April, or give me all the numbers for you know a certain range, or will we be looking up a specific individual, like, okay, who did this, you know, I have a specific customer, and I want to know on August 1st of 2004 what they bought and how much that total was. Well, those kind of retrieval patterns will be make a big difference as to what kind of indexes you put on your, or how many indexes that you put on your data warehouse. Um, the size of the dimensions of the fact tables are a big factor. We kind of talked about that before. Oh, no, I didn't show you the storage space one. So let me go do that real quick here. I'm sorry. Let me flip back over to I, my management studio. Storage space. Let me open that up here. Okay. All right. So here's a, again, show the increase in storage space from just a single clustered index. Um, here I'm going to say, let's, we're going to show you the size of the, this two, these two tables, the no index table and the with index table, based on this uh, store procedure here. And we can see here a significant amount, it's the exact same amount of data in the table, but you can see here that the data in the no indexes took go 8, uh, 8200, index size 8 KB. Oddly enough, I'm, I have to find out why it shows 8 KB when there's no indexes, probably takes a minimum. Um, but there are no indexes on the table. Anyway, in total it's 8208 for the old size with no indexes. With indexes, you can see the data is only slightly bigger, but the index size itself is almost the size of the data. So in total, we've we've got over 17,000 over 17,000 KB taking place uh, taking taking of storage. I'm sorry, uh, when you do have the indexes, 